Belters and welcome. It is the first of the month and I am starting this studio vlog before I've even put the other one up. I'm trying to be really organised. Actually I feel like I'm catching up with everything is how it's going. So um, I just did the avocado video. It's going to go up in a week and a half so I've kind of got about two weeks grace with the videos which is always a really nice feeling. The next thing I'm going to do is this um, weaving kit from the threshing barn. I'll just show you a bit of footage of that. This is how far I've got because the instructions are that. That's literally the instructions so there's not, there's a couple of photos. Um, I think there's a little bit more. No, there's a couple more bits of how to do weaving stitches. Let me just show you, sorry about the noise, that's all the wool you get with it. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit of that. I just also wanted to say it arrived today as Felt Matters magazine, if anyone doesn't know about it. This is a needle felting, no, it's a felt magazine. I, sh I shouldn't say that because it includes a lot of wet felting. Um, it's actually got quite a lot of 3D things in it this month. Let me just show you this lady that does fish. So that's really um, an interesting one. But the reason why I get this is, apart from the fact it's quite a good read, you get four magazines a year. It's also included in the cost of joining, which is about £42. You get your stool holders insurance, which is really fantastic. So let's get on with that weaving kit. And I have a lot of things in my head that I want to do this month. Let's see if we get them done. where I'm up to just to show you a few bits um, so all the bottom got done the tree I just wanted to try and work it out first I haven't managed to do it how they've done it on the picture hang on a sec there we go but um, I've just tied lots of bits in and then I've untangled uh, each strand so you get sort of more bits of wool showing I'm quite pleased with it I'm just doing this one so I'm weaving it in and out and then when you get up to here you split to the three. Um, I've done a little sheep starting. I'll show you a little bit of that as I do it. That's just looping the wool. And then I've done a couple of bits of detail, but I've just raided my wool um, stash just to add some extra colour into it because I quite like, um, they've got all this yellow and I haven't got yellow in the kit. So I'm gonna put some of that orange in it. I was just reading the Felt Matters magazine. Look at that octopus. it's done sort of similar to the picture it's not too dissimilar I did try the um, fencing there well, you can see it there a bit better yeah I'm pleased I've done it pleased I tried I wouldn't say I'm a weaver <laughs> but yeah so you just do loopy bits for these I had to weave wool in behind there to be able to do those loopy bits that I just undid the strands that was some of my wool just sort of yeah played around but yeah pleased I tried it
So I am progressing nicely through this cow. I really I do want to get on with it, but I've got an hour and hour and a half this morning to do some work. So this guy has just sold, so I'm going to package up that one. That's really good. And I've got to get these three onto Etsy. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm getting really attached to my makes and I'm I can't do that. I've got to make money. So I'm going to put these three on. Etsy takes some photos, videos, that in itself takes about an hour to get through. So hour and a half, pack that, do that, and then do a little bit more of the cow, hopefully. And I just wanted to show you, so I did decide to go with the valet and that sheep together. I, I was fairly happy with them, but I got these two little stands to put them on on the table at Holmfirth Art Week. So it just gives them, because I know they're going to end up on a sort of table about this height, I reckon. Um, and I just wanted them to be raised a bit. I couldn't find anything. I would have had something a bit higher if I could, but I thought those two little stands are good, but I'll have to make it clear that the stands are not included because I reckon people might think they are, but it's not the end of the world if people wanted them. But anyway, yeah, so I think they look good like that. Look a lot better. They'll catch people's eye, hopefully. I've just popped all my sheep up there. I don't think I'll have this many nice sheep together for a while if uh, I end up selling any of them. <laughs> but you never know. None of them might sell. They might stay with me forever. But yeah, I got to do the Herdwick a bit smaller. He is um, very much <laughs> bigger than the others. Chair's so low all the time. I just wait for that. Um, so I just printed out uh, the address for that order online, just to say I've been doing all of my um, postage online with the post office. Not click and not what's it drop and go or any of that because I don't do tons. But I just book it on here and they come and pick it up the next day. I haven't been into the post office for ages and it's absolutely brilliant. And I leave stuff outside the front only, you know, if I'm going out just for an hour or so. But yeah, that's worked really well. And all of that packaging, all of the plastic stuff that you saw me use is all um, reused stuff. Um, I believe in a new box for somebody if they're ordering something. So I do get a strong, uh, really good box. And then I do put the bubble wrap and stuff around it to keep it waterproof. And I try as best I can to save any packaging that I get because we all get loads of parcels and stuff, don't we? So um, I try and recycle as much as I can. Can't do it all the time. But yeah, I have to put something waterproof around stuff when I send it, especially if you're sending stuff to America. I don't know how you can't waterproof stuff when you send it to America, you have to. Just popping the postage label on, I use the clear envelopes, which number one, make it waterproof. And I just think it looks really smart, um, all sealed in there. So there we go, putting a sticker on to say it's from me. All done, put it out by the front door. 
Um, I think most of you know this is my <laughs> simple little setup for pictures. I just take them here on my chair. I've always got quite good light. I've always got an assistant to help me. Um, they like to check on items if I leave them for too long. And so I just do it here and <laughs> everything's a mess. You know, this is just what it's like when you're trying to do everything. But um, yeah, so here's my little video shot. I'm just deciding whether to have it on the stand. I don't know if it if it makes it better. Let's just see, maybe. So it is a lot of trial and error. Oh, I just think it's cute. Lying like that, I'll just tidy up that bit there and make it better. But yeah, this is just, it's simple. That's how I do it. So I take about eight to 10 photos of each item. The first photo that I take that's gonna be the um, main photo, I lighten that one because always whatever lighting you have, it's never quite, you can play around with it and make it a bit brighter, a bit better. I always do it on my app first and upload the photos on there. Then with the video, I have to edit the video. I always do a video, um, you only get 15 seconds, but I always try and put my hand in the video at some point so that they can see the size. It really is just the best reference I've found that works. Because sometimes you think, well, do I put a wine bottle in or do I put a penny in? Uh, if it's a penny it's different in different countries so it doesn't quite work and if it's a wine bottle i just think it looks odd so i always get my hand in there and turn it round at some point but yeah definitely eight to ten photos adjust the first one for the brightness and get your video in there but yeah it just takes time it's really annoying but it just takes time to go and do it all and then i normally copy one of my previous um items that i've sold and then just adapt that and change it so i'll do that now <laughs> Sit around and wait all day You lay easy on my mind So here he is all finished and I am really pleased with him uh, definitely a fantastic shape good shape for the head and the body so I can really recommend it. Um, just a couple of things. My PDF link ran out. So uh, I think it had six months on it because you get a PDF and a course from M Fountain Stab the Fluff. So I'm sure if I'd have messaged her, she would have sent me another link, but it was the weekend. So just one thing to watch. And the videos were out of order. So I didn't do her nose because I thought I didn't have that video. So just um, when you get the link, they're all on YouTube. They're not sort of up for general viewing, they're private, but do have a look through because all the videos are there. They were just, mine seemed to be out of order, but yeah. Yeah, lots of wool left over. So just to show you, because I always really worry that I'm going to run out of wool. So yeah, and no core wool. So that was really interesting. But yeah, there he is. Yeah, very pleased. Really glad I did it. Really, really glad. So thank you so much, M from Stab the Fluff, M Fountain. So next up is um, this otter from Birdie and Blossom. And I've got a piece of driftwood on way from Zoe Fleece for You. So I'm gonna sort of work out how to do this. So I'll get started with this. sunrise eats my skin even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming in golden I'll follow home golden 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 things So yeah, this is our most localist um, farm shop. It's really quite close. It's quite expensive, but it's nice to just pop there for a couple of things. Uh, those were some sort of croissants that you pop in and then 
Um, it's got some nice books too, but um, we've been doing early morning walks and I managed to catch some footage of the barn owl. Actually, there's two barn owls here, but yeah, I was really pleased. It's fairly close and it's just hunting there. And this is me opening the birdie and blossom kit, the otter kit. Um, absolutely just so well put together and so beautifully presented. So here I am just doing, um, getting everything out, getting ready for this. So I'm just um, underway doing this, um, yes, an otter, of course. Um, and this is my daughter's sheep picture she's just brought in. It's absolutely stunning. We're working towards a collection. She's been doing lots of drawings and um, eventually she'll have a shop. But isn't that gorgeous? Just had to show you. So first um, claw paw, paw done with a claw um, and it will go on The side there um, for anyone that knows me I don't know if anyone remembers but I really hate doing claws <laughs> they are not my most favorite thing one down three to go I actually did some felting in a coffee shop recently I'll explain why but a lady came over because she needle felted too so we had a chat so I managed to get another two done well that's not quite finished for the otter Although my husband called it a beaver, um, for the otter, um, whilst I was uh, waiting for my daughter doing her GCSE, it went well, so fingers crossed. Um, and then I've ordered these. So these are oil pastels and these are pan pastels. So these are like chalks for shading your um, needle felted items, say if you wanted to do cheeks or darkness under the eyes. I'm going to do a video on it. This was recommended by... Cindy Lou Thompson in her book um, she uses pan pastels and these oil pastels I saw is it Rena Rena Renally Creations in Australia I saw her use these so I'm going to try these and apparently they don't come off but again yeah I'm going to try and do a video hopefully it will have come out before um, you see this vlog fingers crossed but yeah these are going to be fun to try but these are really expensive they were about £50, really expensive, but they last forever, she said in her book. So, you know, I'm going to test them out. You can buy them individually as well. You don't have to buy them in a whole set. These were a lot um, cheaper. They were about £10, £15, maybe even 20 I shall um, put the prices on the video when I do it, but this will be fun to... I'll have to make something to try it out now because it wouldn't work on the otter. So, <laughs> but these will be fun. Here I am still going with the... Pause. One, two, three, last one. Really, really happy. Started to put a bit of colour on. These have arrived from Zoe. Let's move them down here. Um, I think that one is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to do it sort of doing some sort of movement and then some sort of greenery on it. Um, and I'll use that one for something else, definitely. Yeah, Zoe uh, did tell me that she doesn't ship to America. So Zoe Robson Fleece for you. I didn't realise that. Um, so anyone who's tried to contact her, sorry about that. But yeah, UK, you know, she definitely ships and she's got very fast postage to the UK. So here he is so far. I have got lots more to do. Um, I've run out of this brown, so it's coming in the post. I thought I might, but I'm just getting an idea and a feel for the legs. Because like I said, I don't have the video <laughs> So I'm just sort of making it up from pictures. But yeah, enjoying it so far. Yeah, getting there. This little one sold. So just got all the packing supplies out. It's uh, been really hot weather lately. So we've walked the dogs nice and early. But um, yeah, I'll get this one packed up. And then I am waiting for the wool today for the otter. Looking forward to getting this one finished. But I can do some of the seaweed stuff around the bottom whilst I'm waiting.
sides and base roughly done still waiting for world of wool to arrive i like the reeds i like how um I, I don't mind that you can still see the little glass hole but yeah so i made all that base bit up myself by the way that wasn't part of birdie and blossom but oh i'll show you it properly when it's all done so yeah waiting for world of wool now so the world of wool bat um arrived but unfortunately as is commonly the case it's not the same color as the bat that it would have originally come from and you can see that let's try and see if we can get it that's the new color that's the old color slightly darker um so i'm going to have to recover most of it i'm going to just try and fade out on the legs to the darker color and hopefully it'll look quite nice actually give it a nice effect but it's a bit annoying i've got to recover it and then i'll just show you this oh unfortunately when i ordered from world of wool <laughs> just ordering one bat seemed ridiculous really for the postage so i ordered this and yes i know i said after that weaving kit i wouldn't do another one but this is kind of different um and I like the fact that this comes with a frame and I can do other things afterwards. And also it, it's really, really neutral. So it'll go in my room because they had a couple of different colours. But this is quite a big one. So yeah, I will do that, but not, not for a, a couple of weeks, I should imagine. But looking forward to trying that one out. So here's the otter all finished. Yeah, really pleased actually. It's really good to push yourself out of your comfort zone and try different things. I definitely wouldn't have normally tried him. Look, there's like a patch there. I'm just gonna have a look at that and see if it needs a bit. Always take a photo of your item. You can see different things in a photo. It's really interesting. I'm just going to put the straighteners on these whiskers and see if I can make them a bit straighter. But yeah, very pleased uh, that he's done and finished. I'm just doing this um, mushroom kit from Fudge and Mabel. Just honestly, I mean, you've probably seen the video, but some really gorgeous colours, a really lovely kit. So I really want to showcase um, Fudge and Mabel. I really want people to know about her and her work. And look at those little gills on the mushroom. They are really cute. Doing them a very different way. So I'm still learning, even doing just a little simple kit like this. But yeah, really, really cute. It is raining out there. It's horrible weather. But um, I've got a cup of tea and I'm just sitting down. The dogs have got um, some very large bones for them. So they're busy because um, I'll take them out. It should stop raining later. But yeah, just enjoying sitting here and doing this mushroom kit. So here we are, mushrooms all done. I really enjoyed it. There's a video out on that. And then I just put them with my other mushroom. So I'm building up a good little collection here. just did a bit of sewing this month, uh, adjusting my daughter's jeans because they were too long. It's good to get the sewing machine out. I did do some classes about five years ago to see if it was a business for me. Um, and it, I just didn't feel it was one that I was going to take to long term. And then once I started needle felting, that was it. I did do jewellery before I um, found felting as well on Etsy. I sold jewellery. But this was the nicest thing I made when I did sewing. I made this bag. It's a bit old now, but I really like it. Um, and it's got lots of pockets and everything. But my sewing machine just lives on my desk there. It's always there. It's handy. So today is the day that I take my work down to Honfirth Art Week, which I'm um, excited but nervous about. So I've put it in this box and it says delicate because um, it takes them a week to set it all up. But I've, I've popped them all in and I've got the stands and they've got their labels on because you've got your own number 
and I don't know if they supply them I thought they did but then they said in their email that you have to do it so I've put them in and I've said delicate and they're all wrapped up a bit because you could be queuing to get them in um so you, it might end and it's going to be stormy actually later on today so you have to keep everything waterproof for if you end up sitting in the queue and then I've just decided to use my wood slices and put one of my island cows on a wood slice I've just got to make that front a bit better but yeah I thought that would be quite sweet to <laughs> glue this one to a little wood slice makes it just a little bit more special I think for someone to purchase so here they are so I've done this little highland cow just my usual and then I did a little herdwick just on wood slices I think it's a really nice way for somebody to purchase something um, and sort of it looks good so I'll do a couple more for my craft fairs so I did have my um, hairs all ready to do and start doing the PDF but because it's been so muggy and hot and I just oh it's the weekend and I just haven't felt like doing it so they're ready um I'll start probably tomorrow it's Monday so I've dropped all my uh stuff down at Holmfirth Art Week and I'm going to try and go to the preview evening so I can sort of do a little video walk around and and hopefully my sheep are okay down there just wanted to show you this I'm always trying to update my the way in which I take photos and before I had got this um sorry you're on the floor with me this um vinyl well no this it's like a wallpaper but you can take the back off it's sticky and I'd put it on some cardboard but it just the cardboard just deteriorated so what I have done is I went to my it's like a local B&Q so it's like a hardware store in the UK and these were three pounds each and they're massive and I've just covered this one and it's worked really well few bubbles that I've just sort of had to keep sort of squeezing out down there um, so I'll have this one and then the other one and then I'm going to do another color as well so I can just sort of keep them hopefully behind my door there and get them out for photography I'll show you a picture once I've taken a, a photo with it to show you what it looks like um, so here's the setup <laughs> he looks tiny in there but then I've got plenty of room because I always find like uh, the edges here used to cut off with the smaller piece so but here's the picture I'm really pleased with it and I've got another oh, I just found a bubble in the oh no it's not a bubble that's okay um <laughs> Are there bubbles down there? Oh, anyway, I've got to keep smoothing the bubbles out, but I've got another two bits of cardboard so I could do different colours as well. So morning, um, it's the 28th, and so it's been really quite quiet in my Etsy shop, so I just put a sale on of 10%, and I did know that one lady was interested in this hair, so adding that little 10% discount just gives them a little push towards it, so she's purchased uh, this hair. I'm just going to redo... The whiskers because I think they've been a bit battered over the years having gone to all my craft fairs and I can make them look really really nice he's um, she I think it's a she she's um I called her Sophie a long time ago I'm gonna pop her in the box but her ear one ear is just gonna have to be down a bit but it is but I'd rather do that and get her in a smaller box um, than have to pay an awful lot more as it is I'm paying 24 pounds 90 to post this to America tracked and signed and insured but um, yeah, I'm just going to redo the whiskers. I am in the middle of making <laughs> what looks like a really scary Highland cow. Um, it'll be it'll be nice when it's done. They always look really odd. There's the ears, doing it in an unusual colour. I have been completely procrastinating over whoops over these guys. Um, sorry, we're about to go out and walk the dogs, and it's really quite hot, so. I'm just wearing this but I've been procrastinating over these guys I think it's because I'm a little bit unhappy with one of them I'm not sure so I've kind of been going back to making things that I know I can make like the Highland cow head and the little you know the um, sheep and the cow that I showed you on the logs but yeah I think I'll get this one out of the way and then I will I think crack on with them yeah this is the Holmfirth art week this is the uh, guide book it's really beautifully produced it's lovely and it's got all the artists in it and then it's got all the sort of um, fringe venues because there's lots of places 
outside of the Art Week uh, central place, which is the Civic Hall, that have lots of um, artists as well. But my name's in here, so it's really good. It's, I'm really, you know, it's really lovely to see. And we're going to go to a preview evening with um, a glass of wine and. So you can walk around where it's a little bit quieter. So we're doing that on the Saturday evening before it opens on the Sunday. Um, it's not till the first, so it'll be in next month's studio vlog. So, and I'll get to see my sheep and I'll get to check on them that they don't need, I'll take some needles down and check that they don't need sort of uh, touching up just before it opens. But yeah, so I'm just gonna crack on with um, packaging this little one and redoing the whiskers. God, they're obviously well put in. There we go. Just on a side note, do you guys remember the fairy video I did to raise money for Breast Cancer Research Foundation? So I made the fairy and I sold that and that was purchased by Vicky, which was lovely of you, Vicky. But all the money went towards uh, breast cancer research. And with the video I said for the first six months, I would do um, I would donate the money earned on YouTube. So it's been up since the 24th of October. So we're a little bit past the six months, but that's OK. Had 5,600 views. £26.82 was raised so I'm going to double that it's £53.64 and we're just going to donate that to cancer research but to breast cancer in particular. So there we are £53.64 and I specifically chose breast cancer under the Can Cancer Research Foundation. Um, I know from the messages before uh, breast cancer has obviously touched an awful lot of us so every little helps Thank you so much for watching the video and supporting it. So Mr. Highland Cowhead is finished and I'm really, I really like him. I'm really pleased with him actually. The colours, even though, he, I mean, he just looks awful for most of the make until you get to the end and you put the um, fringe on and the horns. But he's, yeah, he's, he's massive. That's my hand. Yeah, there you go. So he's really, really big. But what I thought I'd do, I'll show you this. So just had to go out of it to show you this. So this is my makes for the whole of June. Um, for me, I just thought it was interesting to put them all together because obviously I, I do do this part time. I don't do it full time. So, you know, I started with that, then the cow, then the otter. Now the otter was a big one that took me a while. Actually, the cow took a while as well because I wanted to do it right. Then I did the mushrooms and that little one that's something for the future, these two, and then that cow head. So um, is that good? I think for a part-time business, yes, that's good, considering I also did, I think, three and this video, four videos for YouTube, plus my shop sales were about £400, so I'm still sort of getting through that, but I mean, I've got loads of kits up there, you know, kits have been really slow at this time of year, don't go thinking I'm selling loads, but they do pick up in autumn and Christmas time, but yeah, so that's just sort of showing you what I produce in a month I guess that's pretty average although that otter did take ages but it's interesting to see it all laid out there he is hanging up so you can get a better sort of view of him but yeah he is a little bit bigger than that one that's from my course so there we go so this is me laying everything out <laughs> trying to encourage myself to do the hairs 
so it is the 29th I could I've got two how many days two 30 days has 10, 30 days so two more days so I could do it it is beautiful weather out there so we're going to take the dogs for a nice walk I will show you a little bit of the place we're going because it's really nice but yeah if I lay it all out hopefully I shall get started when I get back So I laid everything out for yesterday. Haven't quite started it, but this arrived. I, um, I've i joined Birdie and Blossom for this one. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. The giraffe. Watching Tracy uh, with her reels on Instagram, the methods that she uses in order to do this giraffe is just amazing. So um, I've joined in. Oh. I'll show you just a couple of bits. But yeah, look, all lovely wools. Oh, she's done... She's done the um, armature. That's fantastic. But yeah, lots of gorgeous coloured wools. There we go. She she just wraps it all so beautifully. Honestly, it must take her absolutely ages. She does. I know she was at seventy kits. She must be at way more now. So yeah, really really beautiful. So um, yeah, looking forward to doing this one. So it's about an hour and a half later. I've just walked the dogs. It's a bit drizzly outside. But uh, some of my eyes have arrived. I use Cello Express. Um, I might try and find somewhere else in the future. But so far they've been really good for what I want. And then these three bits of wood have arrived from Zoe Robson Fleece for You. And I saw them advertised. Absolutely. I think this is Elmwood. And I think that's Burwood. I'm not 100% sure. But... Um, really lovely weight even if I never used them for anything they're just beautiful as they are she said this was a really special piece and it is it's lovely so I'll uh, come up with some things to put on them in the future so it's the 30th I'm going to end the studio vlog here as always lots to do so I've got the draft kit to do the loom kit to do um, Holmfirth Art Week officially opens in two days. If I sell the sheep, I will be over the moon, but I'm going to expect that I don't because I think that's always the best way to go. If they come back home, that's great. I'll stick them on Etsy, not a problem. I am going to get on with these two. I think there's a couple of design bits that I'm just going to change slightly that might make me feel a bit happier about them. And then I'll have three kits. So I'll be really pleased with three kits going in towards the Christmas season. Um, I've also got something else I'm planning for Christmas too, which I talked about last year. So I've got that to do. Um, I'd really like to get a head start with it now. As soon as these are done, it's going to be the owl video, which is just a small one. And then Herdwick video, maybe a valet black nose, but I'm not sure. I think there's a lot of good valet black nose videos out there. And then the horse video. Anyway, there's so many things always in your head that you want to do. I want to do a series of hairs. I now want to use those bits of wood that I'm sorry. I now want to use those bits of wood that I got from Zoe to do something because you, you get these things and it's really exciting. The next video I'm probably going to do is the pan pastels and the oil, uh, the Faber Castell oils, just to test them out because I think that will be really interesting. But yeah, lots to do next month, so it's going to be really exciting. Please join me. Thank you for being here if you've made it to this part of the video. I am very, very grateful, put it that way. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful month of felting and we'll see you next month. Take care. Bye. <laughs>